going on with you guys? So today, I'm gonna be taking you through a full day of eating on a lean off-season bulk. <clears throat> Man, so we're gonna start off this morning's breakfast with the infamous, the thing that I've been in love with since I started it on prep, oats. <laughs> so, ingredients, quick oats, the, the the precious sweet almond butter, a little bit of Walden, Fine, well, Walden Farms zero calorie pancake syrup, and water, I guess. The, the thing is, your boy, your boy got COVID right now. So, it's, it's the perfect scenario to eat on plan and have no temptation of eating off a of plan because I can't taste shit. And I would just be stupid, you know, if I'm, you know, having cheap meals, uh, eating more than I should when I literally can't taste anything. It's true. You can't taste anything when you have COVID. It's such a weird feeling. And I, I've been talking to people and they're talking about um, that it's, it's months and months later, they still don't have their taste back. So let's see if, uh, let's see how this goes for me. <laughs> but, you know, we're gonna keep it consistent while we are confined in the crib for the next, what, like five days. Um, so yeah, I woke up this morning at 178 pounds. So I would say post-show rebound is going quite well. All right, let me, let me whip these up because I am hungry, I will say that. And then every morning with my oats, you know I gotta throw in my protein shake. So, I just got this one in the mail yesterday, the vegan chocolate brownie, and I would love, love, love to try it, because it sounds fire. Everyone's telling me it's the best, but I'm gonna save it till I can, when I can taste something. <laughs> so I've been alternating between the peanut butter smoothie vegan and the vanilla soft serve whey. Um, between these two, this one is my favorite. And I'll talk about it a little bit later, but vegan, vegan, vegan protein, you got me locked in. I don't think I'm ever going back to whey, ever. I don't see myself ever going back to whey. But let me whip up this little smoothie, sit down and eat. My tummy is rumbling. And I always use 30 calorie almond milk, you know, um, just to add a little bit of thickness to this because I make my protein shakes protein shakes a little bit different than everyone else. They're kind of like slushies in a way. So I'll show you guys what I do. Um, I just put a serving, which is eight ounces of almond milk in here. Uh, throw my little scoop of protein in. And I almost forgot. If you are interested in trying any of the protein, and I definitely recommend the vegan from Beam, you can use code DEV at checkout to save yourself 10%. Yeah. But, got the protein in there. Almost put this in the fridge. I do that every time. <laughs> then I throw about, let's see. Literally just a, oh shit. Just a handful of ice cubes in there. And then, just to get a little more volume, just a little bit of water. And this is a ice cold, freezing, chilling beverage in the morning. It's really nice when you're thirsty and you first wake up and you're just like, damn, I need something to drink. And I know it doesn't look like much at all. It actually looks kind of nasty, but my favorite meal of the day, 60 grams of oats, 20 grams of almond butter, some cinnamon, some Walden Farms, zero calorie uh, syrup, and a serving of Beams Vanilla Soft Serve Whey Protein. You guys know the deal by now. I'm just gonna eat it 
and when I get my food, I'm ready to eat it. So I'll see you guys for the next meal, which isn't much, but uh, you know, I'm gonna document it. Full day of eating coming at y'all. As this video really might be all over the place, but I was just sitting down here eating, thinking, damn, let me, let me explain the macronutrients of this first meal. So we got 60 grams of oats. <clears throat> And that is my carb source starting off today. This is giving my body a chance to utilize some energy um, and really just start pushing it forward throughout the day. Um, my almond butter, so we got 20 grams of that. And it's always a good idea to get a nice little amount of fat in <clears throat> at the beginning of your day because it's gonna help you feel fuller longer. And you know, breakfast, for me, breakfast is a meal I like to go a little bit bigger and a little bit more satiating because I take a little bit more time between my first meal and my second. Sometimes up to like three and a half, four hours if I'm really um, getting shit done in the morning. And then one of the more important things is that protein shake that I just had. So that is your body's first time um, throughout the day to take advantage of muscle protein synthesis. So you always wanna have a protein source in the beginning of your day just to really utilize that window of muscle protein synthesis because your body goes through multiple phases throughout each day to where it's breaking down protein to repair and build the muscle and you don't want to miss out on those key windows that's why in the fitness community we harp on eating your meals every two to three hours because that's roughly when muscle protein synthesis happens on that kind of a uh, time frame so just want to explain that to you guys i will see you guys for meal two all right it's about two hours later after the first meal <clears throat> about 11 42 right now and i'm gonna have myself a pure protein bar so there we go um this has about 200 calories 20 grams of protein and what are we looking at for carbs about 18 grams of carbs so i have this and then I have my Beam Super Greens and Pink Lemonade. I wish I could taste this right now, it's so good. Um, so my my reason for drinking this, and this actually isn't on my meal plan, but it's only about like 20, 30 calories, pretty negligible at the end of the day, but it's really helping me with one, digestion, and two, which is kind of the same thing, absorption of nutrients. So at the end of the day, if your body isn't absorbing the nutrients you're giving it, it means nothing. It's just passing right through you. So I drink that to really ensure that my body is able to utilize what I'm putting into it because that is a huge thing that I've actually recently learned. Some people's bodies do much, much more efficiently than others, absorb nutrients. So when you, when you hear people talk about, oh, he has great genetics, that's a huge component that nobody ever really acknowledges. Um, and I didn't really until maybe like a week ago. It's like some people have far more effective digestive systems than other people, which over, if you take that over a long span of time, will cause a total night and day different looking physique and one person to another just because their body's able to utilize what they're putting into it. So I drink my super greens to use the nutrients I'm putting into my body. And plus they are heat, heat. Forgot to go over in the last clip, uh, my, you know, like kind of my total macronutrient intake right now. So with me being on a lean bulk, I'm about, uh, maybe like 500 calories, 600 calories over what I was eating at the very lowest point of my prep. And that is the significance of a lean bulk. We are gradually over a weekly period increasing calories to get me up to a higher amount when I'm at the peak of my bulk. Um, if we just if we just jumped from 2000 calories to, you know, damn near 35, 36, 3700, I would get fat quick. Your metabolism needs time to adjust. So right now I'm at about 2,700 calories, about 300 grams of carbs, um, 225 grams of protein, and 70 grams of fat. But carbs, I'm ready for those to go up because I'm just, I'm ready to eat more. I'm still hungry throughout that day, believe it or not. But yeah, that is my total, total calorie macronutrient intake at the moment. So uh, I'm gonna eat this and I will see you guys for the third meal. <clears throat> all right guys so i'm back with the real meal two i think i might have said meal three last time but i mean 
It was a protein bar and a, <clears throat> a drink, so can it really be a meal? Um, but we got six ounces of ground turkey, two whole eggs, 40 grams of asparagus, and 200 grams of rice. That came out so much more fluent than it used to. I used to stutter over my uh, amounts of food just because I didn't have them memorized, but I've been doing this so long now, I, I kind of got shit down pat. You guys gotta kinda forgive me. I'm uh, like I mentioned, I have COVID right now and it, it definitely comes in waves. Like I'll feel, I'll feel good for like an hour, two hours and then it'll just like hit me. I just feel like I'll have chills, I'll have like body aches, I'll have a headache. But uh, it, it's, it's, kinda, it's kinda hitting me right now. Um, but one thing like I really, Wow, my mouth is water. I can't taste shit, but my mouth is watering. Let me take a bite of this real quick. Mmm. I know what it's supposed to taste like, so I can, I can, I'm using my imagination here. But one thing I'm really like taking advantage of with having COVID right now and being locked in the crib, and this would have never happened if I, I wouldn't be in this situation right now, is you know what, let me pick this up. Um, I'm using this time to take a break from caffeine. Over the last six months, five months, I have been, there's no other word besides straight abusing caffeine, just abuse. We'll leave it at that, abuse. So I am taking these next like, five, six days as a, like a little detox, no caffeine at all, no coffee, no energy drinks, no pre-workout, nothing, chilling on it. A Thursday when I'm able to go back out and do shit, when I'm able to be in the gym again, that caffeine finna do me different. And I'm excited for that, cause like you definitely develop a tolerance to caffeine. I've definitely noticed myself just not be as affected by it as I used to, or have to drink more of it to get like the same effects. So it'll be nice to get some of that back. And then last little thing is <clears throat> with me not being as active and definitely with me not being able to taste, I've kind of cut the sauces out of my meals, at least for these next few days, um, just because like there's no point in me adding extra calories, extra fat into my meals when one, I can't fucking taste anything. Two, I'm being much less active than I would be. I'm really just sitting around the house. Um, so I'm trying to, you know, those little ways of taking caloric intake down just to you know <clears throat> not get not get too fat while i'm in quarantine um but i'm finna demolish this meal i'm hungry as fuck uh, my mouth is literally watering even though i can't taste stuff that's weird that's weird uh but i will see you guys for the real meal three which will be in a probably about couple hours it's 147 so far today i've had each meal about two two hours apart um yeah see y'all for that next one what's going on people i feel like it's a whole few days later even though it's just like probably been about three hours since i picked up the camera three hours since i ate my last meal but uh Hey, all I'll say is when COVID decides he wants to kick your ass, it's gonna kick your ass. I, I've been, I was cool, I, like I say guys, I'm cool for a little bit and then it's just, bam! It kills me. I was just asleep for like a solid two and a half. I'm eating this one quite a bit later. Usually I'm about to eat meal four, but you know, there's really no, no rules, no regulations. Uh, since I'm confined to the house, things are just kind of going as, as they come. Uh, we got chicken, asparagus, and rice. Uh, I will, uh, I'll see you guys when it's done cooking so we can have a little talk. All right, so here goes number three. We have six ounces of chicken, 60 grams of asparagus, 185 grams of rice and a whole lot of salt. Even though I can't taste the salt, I can like, it's a texture thing. It definitely provides a whole different texture. And since I can't taste, it's like I'm extra sensitive to texture. So 
I don't know. There's that. Some some kind of new, a little bit of new. Yeah. Uh, I've been designing a power building program for my client Chatty today. Um, so not power lifting, not hypertrophy, power building. We are prioritizing his one rep maxes, so his deadlift, his squat, his bench, heavy compound movements. We want to increase strength while keeping him lean, but we also want to gain muscle size. So um, um, I'm not going to lie, it's something that's kind of new for me. I'm figuring out how to really incorporate strength training. As always, you guys don't get to see me eat this. I'm going to smash it. Okay, maybe one bite. One bite. Mm. I can taste it, but I can't taste it. Like, I know what it tastes like, so I can taste it. But, um, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and devour this regardless. I'll see you guys for meal. Holy shit, for meal four, it's so late. All right, see y'all for meal four. All right, what is going on, guys? It is about 9.30 p.m. right now. And it's been a few hours since I've eaten, probably like four, four, something like that. Um, and something that I do often, and this is really to, you know, kind of help myself, really to try to conserve myself from overeating, is I will combine the last two meals of the day. So, in front of me, I have 370 grams of rice, 12 ounces of chicken, and 100 grams of asparagus. This is not, I repeat, not something I would recommend doing on prep just because utilizing your nutrients um, and nutrient absorption is like paramount top priority when you're cutting. But when it's more of a calories in versus calories out situation, uh, like now when I'm lean bulking, I, I can get away with things like this. And I'm really not feeling great. It's kind of surprised me because today I felt the best with you know, having COVID, I felt the best um, out of the last few days. Today, I've felt better than I have the last few days. There, there we go. Um, but the last few hours just have been kicking my ass. I have a headache. Can barely breathe out of my nose. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and sit back with a movie. I got Jurassic World, like the newest one, turned on. I'm gonna eat this meal and probably knock out for the night. I've been meaning to do the, one of these videos for a minute. I don't know why it's taking me this long, but yeah, I'm, I'm happy I finally got it out. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Go ahead and drop that like, drop that subscription, ring the notification bell, click the notification bell so you get notified when I upload and I'm gonna eat this food. See y'all.